What's up guys, it's David here again. Welcome to episode 10. Uh, we've actually made it to episode 10, Jesus. I did make an announcement on the last video. I think, no, it wasn't the last video, it was episode 8. Um, got uploaded one, uh, on on the 14th. Just saying that, that was just a normal video, but I think the one before that, episode 8, I said that I was going to upload every Friday and Sunday, and I was busy yesterday, so I um, upload today, which is the 14th. I just want to say dates in advance in case I release this another time. So yeah, I released the episode 9 today, uh, which is the 14th October, because I was busy on Sunday and I forgot all about it, to be honest with you. But what I'm thinking... I'm thinking that I, sh I don't know whether I should be uploading twice a week anyway because I don't want to over-saturate the, the, the content. I want you to enjoy it and look forward to watching it because if I overdo it all the time, not only am I going to get to run down by it but use you guys are as well. So I'm going to upload once a week, which is the original plan I had, which is every Friday. Um, I know it's episode 10 and you'd think that. I know it's not much, but it's still to... It's a double digit number now. I've made more than five episodes without going uh, bored of it now. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm actually really enjoying this thing and it's it's very carefree and that's the way I like it. I like to just make content and have peace while doing it and have fun when I'm doing it. So, I, but the funny thing is, I didn't really have a concept for doing this. I, don't, I didn't have a concept for this video. Um, yeah, pretty much I just didn't. So, but I did. What I tend to do now, I title the commentaries what I can't talk about. Like, when I'm playing a game or I'm watching a box, I do watch my gameplays back to figure out, like, just stuff I could talk about during it in my head, you know what I mean? I was like, right, that one be that one to be quite good. So I title them what I want to talk about, and this one was titled, People Get Too Offended. And if you know me, guys, uh, if you've watched some of my videos by now, um, you know... I'm such a thinker, it's unbelievable, I'm so such a deep thinker, um, I don't really get the human the, the human brain sometimes, I really don't, like, I, 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 there's, there's times, there's, I'm just going to list things I don't like, because this is just, this is going is going to be titled, people get too offended, but there's other things revolving around this offensive term that I'm going to talk about, people these days, and I'm sick to death, honestly, it gets us so annoyed when I see people, like, getting so passionate about something that they know nothing about. Like, this is probably going to get some hate, but I don't give a flying fuck right now. This is my opinion, and I don't care. I'm standing my ground on this. Politics is so boring, it's unbelievable. Like, all the government do, and all, everywhere, every part of the world, they make fucking false promises to you. Get, saying we're going to do this, we're going to change up, we're going to get you more jobs, we're going to do everything that the, the people want in these fairy tales that people think, right, this is it, this is our time to shine here. Then when they get in power, nothing changes, absolutely nothing. There's a few little things they do, all they do is go visit people and sign a few laws, sign a few new papers and that. They don't actually change drastically what we need to be changed. So when people get so offended, and honestly, YouTube comments are the worst for it, because... I don't know why I do this, but like on me, it's not really my fault. Like every time I say on me recommended, oh Britain this, or oh the European Union that, or EU done this, Boris done that, Theresa's done this, and there's always smart asses in the comments that go on about the know how to change the fucking the UK fucking political fucking system we're trapped in at the minute, and all this shit. And that applies for everyone. If you go on like that on YouTube, if you want to be a fucking smart ass on YouTube, you're a sad cunt. I don't give a shit what you say either, you're just a fucking, you're a sad bastard if you do that. It annoys me so much. Like, what's the point? You know nothing about that. If you want to do it so, so, if you want to comment on the state of our country so bad, I want to change this and want to change that, right? Why don't you take all these courses or whatever you need to do to go to the fucking, be a politician and do the things, fight for what you want to do then, fight for what you believe in? Don't argue on a comment section on YouTube. It does my head in that, it really does. Because people go on like they know all this stuff about the fucking, about politics, about the world, about this, about that. Well, try it then. Go do it. If you if you have such a fucking, a good plan in your head, and you want to fucking grill people that have a different opinion to you, then go do it. Go do what you want to do. What's the point arguing with someone? Like, it's, it's their opinion and your opinion. Fair enough, disagree with someone's opinion, right? That's just part of life. The world is full of opinions. But why go on like a fucking dickhead for? Why go on like you know, like you're trying to patronise people by, like, 
getting them, trying to get them to see your point only, and that's that. I can't stand them people. It does me fucking head in. And if you do that, please fuck off. Don't talk to me, because you'll get ev you'll get it. I swear, you'll get everything. You'll get all my fucking wrath, I swear. And this this ties in with the other ones. I was scrolling through YouTube. I think I've been obviously I just do it all the time because you just do, don't you? You scroll through comments and you just look at stuff. And I was listening to a new song that a band released. And there was a big thing about them because uh, uh, I think it was what's a band? Hell yeah, obviously with Chad Gray, uh, ex Mud Vein guy. Um, he is in Hell Yeah now, and rest in peace, Vinnie Paul, because he was the drummer. Uh, Dimebag Daryl's brother, I believe. He passed away, I think, was it last year or this year? Either late last year or early this year, something like that. And everyone obviously, like, I love Mudvayne, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'd wish Chad would go back to Mudvayne, or even just do a, a Corey Taylor and do Hell Yeah and Mudvayne. But there's there's a full thing about it, right? Because I actually agree with some of the p things people are saying, because it's an opinion where they go, well, the whole, like, if Vinnie Paul isn't here anymore, with all due respect, and that's what the band was based on. And it actually was, like, the concept of Hell Yeah was to try and get Vinnie to make music again after the death of his brother, because he was, he just didn't want to play anymore. He, he, he obviously, fair, like, fair, like, fairly so, he had a, a bad time in the head, you know what I mean? Like, he didn't want to look at music, he didn't want to do this or do that without his brother, and that's completely understandable. But now that he's passed on, obviously people say, like, the, the, the whole concept of the band has kind of died with Vinny and to just replace him with a different drummer completely goes against the whole idea of the band that's what I, like I'd seen videos on it and that's what the whole idea of Hell Yeah came from and I've seen it on an interview so but yeah obviously like I have an opinion but I'm not gonna de degrade people for having a different one you know what I mean like and um, there was this, I, would, I was scrolling through some of the comments and then I went on to one of their songs that they just released this year because the newest albums just came out by them I think and there's always, always fucking smart asses, right? That like the comment on the band's videos, like what? What's the point? Like, I was on there and someone says, "Oh yeah, um, Chad Gray sounds great these days. Like he's, you can tell he's screams still there, something along them lines." And I went to the replies because I knew something would have been there. I, was, oh, I didn't even look at the good, good comments. I just wanted to see if there was a smart ass everywhere, and there always is, guys. Always, there was a smart ass on there. There was a couple of that I was saying. Dude, he sounds terrible live. Like, oh my god, I've seen him like ten times and he's this. Like, if you've got such an issue with him live or in the studio or whatever, don't listen to his stuff. What's the point going on his video, his stuff that and his band worked really hard on, and hate on it? Like, what's the point, really? If someone's got a fair fucking, a fair stance to be hated on, fair enough. Do what you want. But f for someone to make music, right, out of the goodness of the heart and just... Put the whole life on the line, put the whole heart into the fucking music. Every night they go on stage or every night they're in the studio, whatever they're doing, all them tireless hours they're working in the studio. Why did why downgrade that? What's the point? If you don't like the person, if you click like for example, if you hadn't listened to someone before and you don't like them, this is my this is what I do. If I don't like someone, I click the video, right? Obviously, I, if I haven't listened to them before, this is, and I didn't like the music. What I do, I click off and I go go find something else. I don't comment and go, this is absolutely fucking appalling, this is shit. You should stop making music. He sounds so bad. He's even worse live. I'm just like, what's the point? You're such a fucking arsehole if you do that. This is just an absolute rant, guys. I'm sorry about this, but this has to be said, because it does me head in. If you don't like something, don't watch it. The world's full of opinions, like I say, and I'll, I'll, I'll accept opinions 100%. If it's constructive criticism, I'm openly welcome to it. You know what I mean? But that's it, guys. I'm going to stop now. I hope you got my point. I hope you can agree with us. Yeah, at least share some of my opinions, you know what I mean? So, some of my values, because it just does me head in. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.